Hello YouTube, uh, this is Rata Gris making a presentation on the three line rifle stock from uh, Utah Customs and uh, this is actually the end product that what we're looking at here on this case. Now this particular um, stock itself was made by Utah Custom Gun Stocks. They call it a three line rifle stock after the original Russian name for the Mosin Nagant bolt action rifle from uh, 1891. Now this is an M9130 from the Ishevsk arsenal, excuse me, and I do have an aftermarket uh, dog collar sling which I will be using and incorporating here into the uh, slots. Uh, the original sling was laden in Cosmoline when I received it from uh, JG uh, J and G gun sales from Arizona about four years ago so I ended up having to purchase a new one but I uh, just wanted to touch base this is the end result of this particular project uh, I did use the Utah custom gun stock I used the Andrew Arnold uh, bolt body uh, that I purchased and I did a video on that I did use a center point scope it's a 3 by 9 power uh, with the 40 millimeter objective lens and then I did use the JMEC see-through scope mount I did a video on that as well but essentially this is uh, what I've done I was able to go ahead and do the bore sight using a uh, sight mark 308 uh, bullet type laser pointer sight uh, to actually uh, align the scope I have not actually test fired this rifle as of yet, but I will weather in uh, workload permitting as well as uh, simply having the time to do it. But I just wanted to touch base on this. Um, I did keep the original iron sights, okay, have that at the front and the rear. And uh, as I mentioned before, this is a see through scope, so you are actually able to see through the scope itself Let's see if I can get a better angle there you can see a little bit of light the camera itself doesn't really lend itself to to do that but this is what it, what it looks like and uh, it is a mil dot scope I just wanted to point that out um, just there we go it is a mil dot scope and um, it is illuminated so uh, it goes both red and green uh, it uses a uh, CR2035 battery, but this is uh, what the end result is. It took me about two months of waiting. Unfortunately, it was during the time of the Christmas holidays that I ended up having to get bits and pieces, but uh, that creates a situation once your uh, holidays are completed, then everybody catches up on orders, but it's it, it's overall, it's, it's a good looking weapon. It weighs a little bit more because of the see-through mount as well as the weight of the scope so it adds a little bit more weight and then with this type of uh, stock it is a little bit more nose heavy because of the length of the barrel being 29 inches so I just wanted to touch base and uh, personally uh, thank Utah Custom Gun Stocks for the stock itself JMAC for the scope mount Andrew Arnold for the bolt body the turn down bolt body that we see here as well as the uh, the uh, the original designers Emil and uh, Emil and Leon Nagant as well as uh, Colonel um, Sergei uh, Mozin as well as uh, Mother Russia so we can say uh, thank you for their designs and their inspiration for these types of lovely weapons that we have today and I also wanted to thank uh, JG J and G Sales out of Arizona for the rifle, uh, making making it available, as well as Republic Arms for the uh, transfer. You may want to take a look at their website as well. They actually offer quite a good selection of weapons, and uh, they do offer uh, hand select as well. I will be doing a video presentation on another uh, Mosina Gant rifle that I acquired through them, and. Uh, they, uh, they actually had a very good one. It's a sniper grade rifle. Not a true sniper, but it's not sniper grade. So I just uh, wanted to touch base and give them a shout out. I want to also uh, thank um, Gunsmith Gooley and uh, Russian Blue Friday for their in their technical input as well as their inspiration and motivation to uh, 
do this one, this particular project here. And um, overall, uh, this is the end result. Uh, as soon as I get uh, an opportunity, I'll go out to the range. We'll shoot different types of loads and see how this weapon performs. Not only with iron sights as well as with the scope and see how uh, the rifle um, ends up performing. Supposedly with the thumb hole stocks you do get better performance. And that's what I'm really hoping to see. And one of the other good things about it, I wanted to see if this particular recoil reducer, how it performs in doing its function in reducing recoil. And of course we also have our cheek rest in use in conjunction with the scope as well as with the iron sights. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or send me a message and I'll be more than happy to touch base on that. Once again, this is the MN for the Mosin Nagant and um, thanks for watching.